Hi, fish and turtle friends. I miss you guys, and I hope that you've had a super great day today. Um, so I'm going to be reading Where the Wild Things Are. It says, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. So Maurice drew all the pictures and wrote all of the words. That's pretty cool. All right. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief one kind, mischief of one kind, and another. Look what he's doing. What's happening? Hmm. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh no, how do you think Max is feeling? Hmm, he looks a little sad, maybe frustrated to me. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Oh, look at that. And grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. <gasps> wow. And the ocean tumbled by the private with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. I wonder where he's going. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. <gasps> Whoa. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. <gasps> Whoa, look at those claws and teeth. Whew. How would you feel if you saw those wild things? Hmm. And Max said, be still, and tamed them with a magic trick. <gasps> and staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were all frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. <gasps> Those wild things are frightened. They're scared of Max. Hmm. And made him king of all of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. What are they doing? Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where somebody loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Hmm. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. 
Aw, Max is leaving. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. <gasps> what? There is his dinner on that chair or on that table. <laughs> And it was still hot. That is a crazy book. Thanks for reading with me, friends. I'll see you later.